I'm Jonathan with Nomadic Cooling. We're over here at HQ3 in Glendale, Arizona. Today we're going to be going through the electrical system for the zombie apocalypse vehicle, the F750. If you'd like to learn more about the F750 48 volt and 12 volt electrical system, follow along. We have basically two and a half months to get the F750 zombie apocalypse system, electrical system, finished, wired up, and installed inside the vehicle. We've been procrastinating on this a little bit because I've been changing exactly what the needs of the vehicle are and what we're gonna put into the system. Let's take a brief rundown of what's inside the F750 electrical system. All right, behind me, we have a very complicated electrical system. It's a completely separate 48 volt and 12 volt electrical system. On the 48 volt side, we have Lithionics batteries. On the 12 volt side, we have Victron batteries. They're gonna be completely separate. We have two 48 volt inverters. These are 3000 watt inverters. These are 35 amp inverters. Now we had the option to use one larger inverter. Two means that if something happens to one, we still have the redundancy. This will give us two independent shore power plugs on the side and inputs from two generator sources as well. So we have four different ways to charge the vehicle from the 110 system. We're gonna be using 30 amp shore power plugs, RV, in here. Now, why are we doing that? Number one, I don't have any place with 50 amps that I plan on going. Number two, the purpose of this vehicle is to use components that we would use and sell to van lifers out there. I don't wanna be putting much stuff on this vehicle that we don't have in stock and ready to rock for your electrical system. This electrical system is gonna be a little bit over the top, but let's go through how it works. We have two 48 volt, 3000 watt Victron inverters, independent of each other. We have generator in on one side, also shore power at 30 amps coming into this at one time. Next to it, we have an MPPT RS100. Now we are gonna have 3000 watts of solar on the zombie vehicle. It's a lot of solar. Now why am I not using two smaller solars? Well, I have to be honest with you, there wasn't room within the system. This is all the room that I have for this electrical system. And this will be my first time using the new MPPT RS. Now the MPPT RS, according to the instructions, needs a certain amount of room above it and to the side of it for heat. That's why you see the inverters and the MPPT RS has so much space above it. We're giving these things room to breathe. Now, because this is a demo vehicle, everything here will be exposed. The whole point of the vehicle is to show off the electrical system. None of it is going to be hidden underneath a cabinet, underneath seats. This will be behind glass with light shining on it so that you can see the entire flow of the electrical system. When we come to you, we want to show you the electrical systems that we can design over here at Nomadic Cooling. This is all 48 volt right here. We're using at the very top a Lynx shunt with a Lynx distributor for 48 volts. Remember 48 volts, we can't use the Lynx Smart BMS. That's only for Victron batteries. Okay, so that system will be fused with four out positions and a fifth one on the side of the Lynx distributor. Underneath it, you'll see a completely separate system with a Lynx Smart BMS, four 12 volt positions out of the Lynx BMS on 12 volts. So 48 volt here, 12 volt here. We have two battery protects after that for the 12 volt side. We have two saferies right here that are independent of each other that can go 12 to 24 bi-directionally that can transfer electricity safely from the 48 side to the 12 volt side. That's right over here. If we take a little bit step over here, you'll see the very, the industrial grade nature of the Lithionics integrated BMS right here. And you'll see their battery combiner box that's custom for Lithionics right up here. The third battery hasn't arrived just yet, but once it arrives, it'll be right over there. Now I want you to think about this. This is on the table, but it's all gonna be like this. So it'll be rotated 90 degrees. These are the 51 volt, 110 amp hour uh, Lithionics battery with the internal BMS 
and the heater all integrated into this industrial size case. Now, Lithionics battery is the most expensive battery on the market to my knowledge. Once you see these and feel how they're built in construction, you could see that there is no expense spared on these batteries. And I'm very excited to have these in the zombie apocalypse vehicle. This will be the uh, the heart of the system that you'll be able to turn everything off. Let's go for let's start at the top and work our way down. At the top we have on off switches for the 110 system and it can go from generator to shore power it goes from here into your inverter over there and then back we have in breakers 30 amp you'll have a, a series of four these are back ordered so they're not in yet one two three four okay so these are all going in here before they go to the inverter once you hit that power it'll come to 110 out. There'll be a main breaker, so two different systems for this two separate inverter, inverter one, inverter two, shore power outlets, excuse me, 110 system right here. So we have a combination of a total of 12, six for one side, six for the other. On the 12 volt side, we have a total of eight, 16 for each battery protect. So the battery protect will work for this one and it'll work for this one. This is a very complex over the top electrical system. You have to remember the reason we're doing it this way is not only so we can impress you, but when we see you across the country at any of the Overland events this year, you can see exactly what Nomadic Hooli can build and what components we have in stock and ready to rock for you. Greatly appreciate you following along to the brief introduction of this completely custom 48 volt and 12 volt electrical system for our F750 Apocalypse vehicle. If you're interested in learning anything more about the components behind us, go to nomadiccooling.com and if that doesn't have the information that you need, give us a call at Nomadic Cooling. We have a full in-house staff dedicated to help you learn more about your electrical system. Guys, if you want to go further in comfort and maybe run over a couple zombies, remember to go further with Nomadic Cooling. Let's go.